Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I am doing a makeover on this paneling right behind me and I'm going to make it look like drywall for under about $50 to $30. I'll give a description of the price in the ending of the video. So let's go ahead and get started. So here is what the room looked like before we went in with the makeover so the paneling to me is just an outdated look and it just makes me feel like i'm in the 1990s so that is why we're updating it but let's go ahead and get into this makeover so to begin this makeover i am going in with this dried x joint compound that i picked up from my local lows for about 16 dollars and it's showing up pink right now but it will dry on white and i'm feeling the cracks and the creases on the paneling so i also took it over on top of the paneling also because if you know wood it has grooves and little nicks that you can't see to the eye but um, once you take it over and just really use that spatula to take it over the paneling it will fill in those lines that you can't see. Okay guys, so now this is what it looks like once you put all of your joint compound on there. You want to feel across your wall and see if you can still feel those, like, can you still feel a dip in the grooves? If you can still feel a groove, then you need to go in with the second coat. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and apply this the second time. I'm not going to show you because I'm applying it the exact same way that I did the first time. And what I'm looking for is a flat, even surface. If I feel across this wall, I should not even feel that there is an indention there. I should feel like it's a flat wall. So let's go ahead and do that. So now I'm going in with this pole sander attachment thing. I'm not sure what it's exactly called, but I'm using 100 grit sandpaper and I'm just using this against the entire wall. So when I'm applying the joint compound, sometimes I have excess and it does not really scrape off the wall. So that's why I'm going in um, to make sure that I get a smooth surface. And this is an important step because if not, it will show through your paint and your wall will look all bumpy and groovy. And that's not what you want so going in with this sandpaper is a lot of time a work and time consuming but it's worth it so once we have all of that done it's painting time y'all this was the best step to me because I knew that I was almost done and I'm just going in with this paint and I'm painting all over the wall nothing too much here but I did go in with about two coats because something that I noticed is when the paint was drying that I could kind of see the grooves but after that you couldn't see them anymore. So I decided to throw this little extra piece in here. I am also painting the trim and the trim is a wood color. So um, I first started to try to paint it with the white paint and that did not work. So um, what I did was I sanded this trim down with, um, a, I think it was about 200 grit sandpaper. And I'm going in with this bond, this Valspar bonding primer. And it's pretty thick, it's like very thick consistency so I'm doing that along all of the trim and I did one coat of that and then I went in with two coats of the white paint so I just wanted to throw this in here because I realized that I didn't even know how to paint the trim and I had to do a little research but this bonding primer really worked well and um this trim looks good as like buying white trim it looks like I just bought a white trim and they put it up there so um this is what i'm doing and i'll show you all it at the end of the video but yeah just go in with whatever color you're using on your trim and it'll look good as new so here i am staining the mantle so guys originally i had painted this and i 
hated it like it did not look right and I think it was because my walls are such a light color now and I had painted it the white of the trim so um, I stripped up all that paint which took a little while but um, it kind of also stripped off the light paint so I just went in with some like hand sandpaper that was 200 grit and just to get the rest of it off and um, the color that I'm using is ebony and I'll list it in the description like what products I use and everything and I'm just going in with a brush and I'm just painting it on there I also need didn't even wipe it off usually in my other videos you see where if I'm using stain I wipe it off but no I like the rich color that it was appearing to look like so uh, I just painted this on and stain goes a long way you just need a little bit and um you paint it on and this is what it looks like but this is like one of my favorite parts everyone thinks it's a new mantle they're like why does this look so different but it's just the stain stain can take you to another level guys So I took this outdated living room that made me feel like I was in the middle of the 90s and maybe even earlier than that from this to this. This room literally looks so amazing now. I'm in love with it. Like this is my favorite part of the house now. I'm sure I'll say that in every part of the makeover. But yes, I am replacing the doors um, for the closet also. But I just have not gotten to it yet. And there will be a part of a, the decorating video. So stay tuned with that. Um, but yeah, guys. Thanks so much for watching. If you have any questions, just go ahead and ask me in the comments. And I will be posting so many more makeovers. So go ahead and subscribe to my channel because we are fully in the process of making over my house. So the next step is the floors um, that I will be doing myself also. So go ahead and subscribe so you can know when I do that. Bye guys. Thanks so much.